in the name of Almighty Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, the most benevolent. Uh, recently, one of the petitioner has filed a writ petition in Lahore High Court, Lahore, uh, challenging the admission regulations 2020 uh, issued by Pakistan Medical Commission. Uh, today, we are discussing uh, certain aspects uh, of the writ petition. And the primary purpose of this transmission is that uh, there had been many, many students uh, who had been asking questions. So in order to address their questions, I have uh, recorded this uh, just to facilitate their frequently asked questions. Uh, I'll be joined by uh, one of the students. Uh, she will, in fact, uh, pose questions and uh, resultantly I'll be able to explain uh, some of the salient features of uh, this reputation. I welcome uh, this uh, dear student. Uh, so, uh, Madam, what are your questions like, please? So, Mr. Nashab, today I'm going to ask you a few questions about red petition. What is the subject matter of this red petition and status of the petitioner? Well, actually, petitioner is a dual national. He's having Pakistani nationality and uh, he's also having a nationality of uh, United States of America. And uh, his status is that being dual national, he is entrusted to get admission in uh, private or public sector medical and dental colleges in Pakistan on the basis of uh, SAT 2 as entry requirement. Uh, whereas uh, Pakistan Medical Commission has imposed a restriction that uh, in order to get admission uh, in Pakistani medical and dental colleges in public and uh, private sector, uh, a candidate is required to pass national MDCAT. Uh, so uh, this restriction is causing immense hardship uh, for the petitioner. Also, kindly let me know what are the relevant provisions of law? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, the admissions regulations amended 2020-21, uh, the regulations, especially uh, Regulation 16A, Regulation 36, uh, Regulation uh, 20, and uh, Regulation 18. Actually, these are the regulations uh, of Pakistan Medical Commission regulations uh, meant for the current year, uh, wherein they have categorized that uh, only those who are, though are uh, dual nationals or overseas Pakistanis, but they have passed their advanced levels or equivalent qualification from uh, abroad while staying outside Pakistan. So uh, in these relevant provisions, uh, it is uh, the foreign student is defined. And this petitioner, though he is a dual national, but he is in fact excluded from that concession or exemption. And uh, furthermore, uh, the recent decision made by Pakistan Medical Commission in, it is, in its second council meeting, held on 16th October, 2020, uh, under the relevant agenda item, they have uh, uh, caused discrimination. They have said that only those dual nationals who have passed their advanced levels or equivalent qualification while staying abroad uh, can only be uh, eligible to seek admission in public and private sector medical and dental colleges on the basis of SAT 2. And all other categories of applicants have to pass national uh, MDCAT examination. Uh, so the relevant regulations are the one actually which are under challenge and the primary reason that why these regulations are challenged because these are discriminatory and they are causing uh, illogical, irrational discrimination. So another question I have is which notification has caused discrimination for the petitioner? Yeah, basically, uh, primarily uh, the regulations 2020 and uh, the uh, uh, afterwards the notification issued by 
Pakistan Medical Commission in this regard. Uh, these are the one actually which are uh, causing immense uh, hardship and discrimination uh, for the petitioner and similarly placed uh, uh, applicants who are seeking admission in Pakistan for public and private sector medical and dental colleges. <clears throat> Lastly, um, what remedy petitioner is seeking from the Honorable Court? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, since uh, the paramount consideration is that these regulations uh, uh, are primarily discriminatory because under these regulations, uh, the, uh, the foreign national is defined in a manner which is discriminatory. Uh, so, uh, first and foremost remedy petitioner is seeking from the court of law is that these re uh, regulations may kindly be declared unlawful and, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, unconstitutional. Uh, furthermore, uh, the petitioner is seeking that uh, the discrimination caused by decision of the council uh, in which they have given exemption to those dual nationals uh, who have passed their advanced levels or equivalent qualification uh, while staying abroad vis-a-vis uh, -vis those who have passed their advanced levels while staying in Pakistan, though they are equally placed. They are also dual nationals. Uh, uh, this, in fact, aspect of the matter is also under challenge. And uh, uh, the stance of the petitioner is that uh, this is uh, absurd, unwarranted, and this is required to be declared void, and uh, that has to be quashed. That's it, Mr. Nashab. Thank you so much for addressing to all the questions that I had. Thank you very much uh, for your participation, and uh, uh, the, the questions uh, you have asked are very pertinent. And uh, even if you will have any query in the future, uh, uh, you can email at Noshab Ali Khan. Uh, let me spell this for you. N-O-S-H-A-B-A-L-I-K-H-A-N at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, you can leave a message on uh, or a voice note on uh, a number that is 0321-8690. 229 and especially for uh, overseas Pakistanis, foreign nationals and dual nationals, uh, while you are dialing this number, that will be 0092-321-8690-229. Uh, once again, thank you very much, uh, uh, dear student, uh, for your valuable questions and for your participation. Thank you indeed. Thank you so much. You're welcome.